Hello everybody, my name is Linda and today I'm going to show you how I do some. So right now I have already pre-drawing roses and flowers on a bark of wood. And this is how I'm going to turn this into a piece of my art, how I would do it. So I'm going to go show you guys, once I can get my camera to work with me. So this is what I have done. I have drawn. I am still inking everything on there so that way when I paint it it doesn't smear so what I am doing today is I'm going to draw this on a bark of wood and then I'm going to hand this to my mom or someone at school or something I can hand to show them that I didn't appreciate so I'm going to finish inking when I this is what I have down so far I've got like little tulips roses um daisies stuff like that on there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this bark and do like a bluish greenish background and then try to put the white down to make it look like a sky to add like these are floating but I am going to add vines to this once I've colored in all the roses and once I get the background so that way I'm not worrying about spaces and stuff so I'm going to show you how the guys so far I got a bigger rose with petals falling off and this is where like the sun is going to really be so the rose is going to like represent the sun and then like the roses are like the clouds and stuff and I have a few like little pond roses and stuff. I'm going to add another big one back here. It just made mine up about that. And then I'm going to start coloring in the roses. Um, I am going to do a mini color. So when I finish this art right here real quick, I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I'm going to do my roses. All right. So I just. Okay. So how y'all can see right now is I finished water coloring with color pencils everything in here some of them have like peach and tones I left some as a wood color so that's what I did and now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some acrylic paint I'm going to take some of this Ooh, one fell out. take some of this stuff it's acrylic and then oil paint and I'm going to and we'll take and I'm going to win down some acrylic. And I think with the contrast of colors, I'm going to make it the dark to the lightest. So the light would be the sky. So it would be like a really, really pale, pale blue with like white hints. And then I'll set the bottom with like a really, really dark color. And then I think I'm going to do it. I know I said I'm going to leave this more of a yellow tone, but the red was really there. So I'm going to outline it all with yellow um, oil paint. And just water it down just a little tiniest bit. And that should give me like the sun type color coming out of the rose. I thought that'd be really cute. Like someone just flew it up and the petals were flying. And then the, um, it'll be like a yellow outline. So it'll look be in the sun. And the red would go good with it as well. And I put some orange hints in there. So I think that would be pretty well. So I will see y'all when I have that part done. Bye. All right. I just finished this one. I'm just going to do really simple. And the products I'm going to use today is going to be watercolors, and then these are like just regular color pencils. I got some oil pastels, and then I got some charcoal um, things, and an eraser, and a sharpener. It's annoying like that. So what I like about water pencils is the fact that I can add water and use it as a paint. My camera will focus. Use it as a paint instead of me having to get out paint and a brush. That's going to be for the background. Now, for y'all ask, the reason why I'm doing the flowers first is because when I do the water, I don't want to lose the contrast. So I want to see the colors I have so I know if I'm going to go with a darker to lighter or if I'm going to go to a really light with a, um off-white sky kind of background type thing with a bluish hint. So that's what I'm going to do. So right now, I'm going to decide to color in my small ones first and make it easier on myself. Now I'm going to start out using a lighter pinker shade for one of my roses in the middle. Now I just dip it in water and like dry it off. And this is going to be like paint. So this is what I'm doing. And I'm just coloring it in very roughly because I'll go in with a red and do shadowing. But I just want to get this around. Now this is a bit more difficult because I am drawing on wood. And this is like this pure, pure cut wood so there's nothing about it. And you're going to get some shadings off of it. I like kind of like using the waters. That way I can do like a few little shadings at the bottom. Got to kind of like rinse it up. And I just like 
the way it kind of gives me contrast. And I will go in with my red. And I'll do a bit of a shadowing because it's much of a darker color. I can get away with a little bit of shadowing. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just shadowing away. And I'm just going to shadow. And I'll come back when I have these like that. That's what I'm doing. I'll be back in a few minutes. I am so sorry. I forgot to mention to you guys what I'm doing real quick. I am the, the vines. I'm not going to do this paint. I'm going to do with a watercolor pencil. And then I'm going to do with paint. Um, I'll do the watercolor either dry or wet. Depends on what the paint looks like. The paint I'll be using, I'm going to mix. Um, I'll do like acrylic and oil paint a little bit together. Just depends what twin gets me the most pigment because I did water down. So I really think I need to go with say oil paint. Um, if you don't know, to me, oil paint's more waxier and thicker. So if you do like a water, like water down acrylic, it's more easier to go with a color, um, oil paint. It does have more pigment in it. So I really think that would be a really good thing to do. So yeah, I'm sorry. Update. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to mention what kind of brushes I'd be using. So this was from Walmart. It's like a handy model thing. It's just a really good brush set. I got these from a packet of brushes when I got like a package of like a set. And these came with it too. They're kind of like the oval and squares. I like these because I have multiple um, sizes. I even got fan brushes. And I even got like the tiniest brush. And then I kind of got like an oval tip on this one I like a lot. So yeah, those are the brushes I'll be using. I'm terribly sorry to mention them. But yeah, we're going to do the same thing. See y'all in a while. So I'm going to take you on the journey with me of my trick of how to take the same color and blend it up to multiple colors. So I have the first layer that's pretty dark down. It's kind of like the bottom. And I'm just like cleaning off my brush and like wetting it. I make sure to kind of like drain the water off. Leave some, but drain most of it off. And I take this, sorry, and I just kind of like buff and blend it up. And it gives me a different color while I'm still using the same color. When you add enough saturation to it. I'm not doing that for some reason. There we go. So when you do that, it kind of gives you a like tune tone color. So this is more dark where this is more lighter. And I just kind of like go up with it. Um, so I'll even use a clean brush. If I still like what I did right now. The stains on there. I'm just going to take another brush. It's kind of like a shorter one. And I'm just going to take the water. And I'm just going to desaturate it. So that way it's kind of more of a lighter. But that's what I'm just going to do for most of the colors. So I've used them because blues are in the same color. So they are kind of hard to find multiple different kind of colors of blues. I am going to add green into this. Like I'm going to have ints of green in the blue. So that way like a bluish green color. I maybe just leave this like this and come down here and do the same thing. And kind of like a bluish green. So the, like the ponds are like not the same way. But you see what I mean? Like that right there is what I'm trying to go for. And I just kind of like do that and it just kind of gives me a different tone of a color why I'm still leaving the wood um if you're asking why I didn't like seal the wood off or nothing like that I want the grayness of the wood to be there to kind of show like it's a wood project so it's not like a clean something or something like that and you know it's just to me it just looks more natural it looks really really nice and it's just something I would do it's not something that someone's like oh you should be doing this or not this is me this is what I do this is my type of art you know, I don't really do anything. Um, I just love doing these type of things. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take the middle. And I'm going to put, like, a, a bit of um, green and oil paint. And I'm just kind of, like, do a greenish-bluish color. So that way I kind of get it across from this. But, yeah, that's how it is so far. See you guys when I'm finished. Or if I have something else to change. Bye. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Um, green bays is supposed to be like the grass and stuff. What I'm thinking is I'm adding vines to this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a white brown to where the green so I can bring the blue and the green up. And this is broke. So I'm going to break this up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, instead of making this look like a nature thing, I'm going to make it like a painting. And I'm going to start with the vinish and I'm going to add the stem back. The stem got lost. But I'm going to start with the vinish going up and around. I kind of like circling in in there in a way to make this look like it's been um, some kind of like cryptotaining. But this is what I do have so far for you guys. And like I said, this is just something I would do. This, it's not really hard. It's just drawing shapes 
and some flowers and then like you paint whatever you want to paint like I added this and I like the way the orange kind of reddish thing goes with the yellow yes this is oil paint so every time I do that it's going to still so that's what I did I even added like, a little blockage up here I have like some darker shadowing into like the very light when I get done with the veins I will go the very tip top and add like a very straight line of like white kind of blended down some I do it so far only because I am adding veins and if any of you out there are artists, you know right off the bat trying to add um, white before black, you're going to end up as a gray color and it's not going to be what you want. It's going to be a hot mess. So I'm going to do the black before white so that way I know what to do and look for. Um, it's just my type thing. So yeah, this is what I got. I like, I like the little flowers kind of goes in it have a different kind of like colors are not too much and similar I like the little petal one a lot um how they have like little petals and stuff um, how you know that that's not a flower that one right there that's not a flower that's part of the wood even though it kind of looks like a flower now so that kind of looks pretty cool I like how that one kind of has a range of colors and stuff I like this one over here a lot this right here has been my favorite flower I've drawn so far but yeah, that's what I got. I'm going to add this film back into this. I lost it in the water paint. Um, I did take acrylic and water it down to get this green color because the green would have been way too dark and it would just attract to the blue. So what I've done is I took water and I mixed some blue and green to kind of get bluish green color so I don't get nothing but green. And I just took regular green water down paint and I've done that. I took a few water pencils with it to kind of add some texture to it. But yeah. So like I said, I'm just going to add vines, and then I'm going to do highlights, and when I get all that done, I'll be back, and I'll post y'all if something new comes up. See y'all in a minute, or if YouTube time, see you in a second. So guys, you know how you have happy accidents? I've had that. I basically had wood, and I kind of did like the veinies accents to it, and it just, it just didn't really turn out vein. It kind of looks to me like a broken glass. It looks like a really nice painted like glass and it got broken and someone tried to put it back together so I like this accident a lot um to me it looks really nice like how the flower and scent to it you know how I like turning that I like the fact that some black kind of happened it was a green and all that and I like the fact that it kind of like clutch out some of the flower and it's and I like the way the blue kind of watered down and kind of like shadow over the flower if you're wondering how I did the white it looks a bit weird I watered down acrylics as you can see out there and I took my finger and I did the vines in oil paint. Now, if you know, oil paint, oil paint is kind of like a waxy consistency. I kind of like call it wax. It's like, so when I did it, my fingerprint kind of left in there. And the water kind of seeped in it. And it was like, left this really cool print thing behind, as you can see on that one. So I kind of like that a lot. So I didn't really have to worry about it mixing. Because, you know, oil paint and acrylic is like really, really hard to mix. So that's what I did. I like this a lot. I'm probably going to write who I'm going to give this to up here. Their name. Um, excuse my dirty fingers. Their name. And then my initials. And I'm going to date it. To show it. So this is what I did. I, I'm really in love with this painting. I'm probably going to give this to a teacher of mine. Um, I love Miss Megan. Miss Megan is a teacher of mine. She's really sweet and everything. So I'll probably just give this to Miss Megan. And show how much I appreciate she's there and everything. So yeah. I'm really like this painting so as you guys can see I did the painting and everything I like it a lot so I'm gonna end the video here because I'm done with everything if you like to see a tutorial on my makeup let me know in the comments I maybe do a tutorial how did my makeup look today I look I really like it so this is what I'm gonna show you um so I'll see y'all guys in the next video bye